can't you hold the camera like it is the wind? It's crazy. Look at yourself. Approximately 34 knots, uh, casting up to 50 knots. So I'm heading up to the northern part of Dermak, the northwest part at the coast. It's gonna be a great day for photography and uh, filming to film the situation, the, you know, the conditions, to film the ocean and uh, take some photos of the waves of the whole situation. It's gonna be just great. be a lot of fun. We are here. Let's go out and see. Feel the power of the wind. This is crazy, it's so windy, it's so great here. Look at the ocean, look at the ocean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you can hear me. It's really windy. This used to be a beach where the cars used to drive on. But now the water came over to the beach. Over, so I can only try out to here. Oh. I have always loved the ocean. The crashing waves, the rhythms of swells. The smell of salt air and reed. The sounds of the seabirds. The changing colors of the waters. Whether it is stormy or peaceful, the sea always offers peace. Small river, maybe a stream, I should call it, not a river, it's a, it's a very small one. And it's, uh, it's wonderful, peaceful. The road passes uh, just over the river. And it's peaceful here, you can only hear the water and the wind high up on the trees.
yeah, that was good. Moving on to the next location. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin This is the so-called cappuccino phenomenon. It's out of this world, it's out of this world. The foam created is due to the impurities that gush out from its waves. Look at this. These impurities are mainly the salts, chemicals, decomposed fish, dead plants and excretions from seaweeds. This big body of foam just moved up very very fast almost got trapped in it they all are shaken and steered together by the powerful currents causing them to form bubbles and later get carried to the shores the more powerful the swirl is the more foam it creates and that's how ocean sea foam is formed Hirsal's lighthouse is the town's beautiful landmark. The lighthouse is 35 meter high and has a focal height of 57 meters, meaning the lens is 57 meters above sea. One can take the 144 steps up to the tower and enjoy the stunning views. During the Second World War, seven and a half thousand bunkers were built all around Denmark. Sixty-nine of them can be found here, spread all over this area. Now it is run as a bunker museum, where 54 bunkers are ticked up and where a part of it is open to the public.
here is because I came to Lundstrup. And this is a mill, an old mill, situated near the village of uh, Lundstrup. Uh, and I'm heading to Lundstrup right after here. Lundstrup is a little village with about 537 inhabitants, located about 14 kilometers west of Jöring in the North Jutland region. Lundstrup has approximately 25 artists and galleries in the center of the village. There are glass blowers, ceramics, jewelry artists, amber grinders, art painters and sculptors. The village also has a number of cafes and restaurants. Lundstrup has a car-free beach which has the blue flag. On the slopes in the northern part of Lundstrup lie the so-called summer villas, which were built around 1920. Since then, hundreds of holiday homes have been built in the village. The village has three smaller hotels and two small campsites. In the summer, the village is populated with thousands of tourists. In the south of Lundstrup lies the old lighthouse Rupia Knude, where it attracts a lot of tourists all the year round. This is the site where the Morub church used to stand. It was a Romansk church built around 1250. The area is noted for its windswept landscape, constantly shifting sands and eroding coastline. The church was dismantled to prevent its falling into the sea. The anchor of a British frigate that sank off the coast in 1808 remained at the site. Lighthouse. 